All right, hello fellow entrepreneur. We are trying to add our store policies today. This is relatively straightforward, but it can be confusing. So let me show you how to do it. We have our store, our trial store here, and we're looking to add our policies to the footer of our website. This is the industry standard of where you can find refund policies, FAQ, store policies, privacy policies, terms of service can be found in the footer. Some companies you may find it in the header. However, you do wanna keep your header user-friendly with intriguing yet simplistic buttons that don't overwhelm the user. You can put all, anything you really want in the footer. You can even put duplicate information in the footer. Say you have a catalog and a contact page and a product page in your header, definitely put that in your footer. However, the header you need to be a lot more delicate with. So the policy page is a little bit more difficult to find and you can edit these templates only in one spot. If you go over to your settings and scroll down to policies right under languages in your settings, this is where you will find your all your store policy, your return policy, your privacy policy, your terms of service, your shipping policy, and your contact information. Now this will change a little bit depending on what country you are in. And this button here, create from template, may not be available to you depending on what country you're in as legal notices are very specific to individual countries and also continents. So as we can see, our all of our policies are blank. And we can also see on our store that there is nothing in the footer. So we want to edit this. What we can do is we can run an example just with our return policy. In my case, I can create a template and it will automatically put in a template to get you started with your individual policies. It does say that templates aren't legal advice. And by using these templates, you agree that you have read and agreed to the disclaimer. You can find a lot of websites and tools to help you write these policies. But as you scale upward with your business, there becomes a point in time where you will want to actually get these verified and get legal advice. So now that our return policy is in our return policy policy page, we can hit save on this page and it will display in our footer. Oh, how come it's not displaying in our footer? We have to do one more step. So if we go back to our main menu and click online store navigation, we can see and attach menus to our footer and our main menu. We can click this blue footer menu. And this is where we can add the menu item. We click add to our menu item, excuse my paint tool and we can call this whatever we like. This can be very formal, it can be very on brand. You can change this to whatever you'd like, but for now we're just going to write refund policy. And this is where we attach the link to the page of the refund policy template we just inputted in our policy page. So if we click here and we go to policies, because that's where it's located, we will now see our refund policy template. And we can click this. So this is what the menu item is gonna be called. And this is the page that it's linking. You can link it to whatever you like. We wanna link our refund policy to our refund policy found in our policies. We can hit add, and this will now add it to the footer menu menu, our refund policy. We hit save. Always a good idea to give the page a refresh. We can see, once again, it's still not in our footer. We have one last step to making this visible. It's very straightforward. We just go back to our online store and we click customize and we scroll to the bottom and we click in our footer menu. You see how we're in the footer section of this customizer page now? We are selected the footer and this sub menu now comes up. If we scroll to the bottom of this sub menu, we will see a checkbox that says show policy links. If we click this, we can now see the refund policy that we inputted in our footer menu menu, which now links to, if clicked on, the refund policy template. That's it. If you ever wanted to edit this, notice how I cannot click it. I have the inspector on, I cannot edit this page. Like if I wanted to edit the featured products page, I can click it and get a featured collection sub menu on the right. However, if we go to our refund policy, once again, there is nothing to click in the default Shopify Dawn theme editor. The only way you can edit this is by going back to settings, policies, and our return policy. This is where we can add anything we like. Testing. And if we save this once again, 
and we go and give our store a little refresh. We click view your online store. We scroll to the bottom to our refund policy, which is linking to the policy template. We can now see that we have changed the policy by inputting the last edit, the testing word. That's it. A final note is that when you use a return policy template, especially the ones from Shopify, it's extremely important to go through and input the correct information or just use a different one altogether. As we can see, there's many different policies on the policy page and they are different lengths, but they all have sections like this where you'll have to insert real information. But congratulations, you've reached the end. You have done so well. And now you are empowered to complete your refund policy setup, all your policy setups, and edit them if you ever need in a flash. You can check this box off the list today, write down your accomplished goal today, and on to the next one tomorrow. And then task after task that is completed, after completed, after completed task, you will begin to see real progress with your Shopify store as the progress compounds over time. You can do it. Don't give up. You have a small business dream that has brought you to this point. It's a little difficult. It's a little more difficult than you may have anticipated, but that's why I'm here. If you ever need more tips, tricks, expert guides, or if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you want to join a free community of like-minded entrepreneurs, consider subscribing. And if you do, I'll see you in the next video.